I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Venn diagram comparing and contrasting a tiger swallowtail butterfly and a tiger. So I don't forget what I'm doing. I'm going to write Venn diagram and I'm going to take two fingers on the left and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a little curve line over straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Right here at the bottom I'm just going to draw a straight, little slightly curved, curve line up and connect. Come up to the top and draw one straight line, little straight line on the left, one straight line, little straight line on the right. Right at this section right here I'm going to draw a curve line out and down and I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line out, up, connect. Come on the left hand side, curve line down, curve line, curve line, curve line, out, up, and connect. I come back to the right and right here I'm going to mimic this line going down and connect. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom and mimic this line going up and connect. Inside I'm just going to draw some little flat baby circles going up. And now I'm going to do the left hand side. I draw my curve line down and connect. Starting at the bottom I'm going to mimic this line up, curve line, curve line, connect. Inside I'm going to draw my little flat ovals. Okay, now I come up on the left and I'm just going to draw a wavy wavy line out, wavy line in, connect, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. I jump over and on the right hand side I'm going to do the same thing. Wavy line down, wavy line up, connect, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. Okay. Now I come over to the right hand side and I put two fingers and another dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy line out down and stop. Come back to the dot going towards the left. Wavy line out, down, connect. I come back over here on the left and I draw slightly wavy line, connect on the left, jump over, slightly wavy line, connect on the right. Come right here in the center and we're just going to draw curve line curve line, curve line up. Come down to the bottom and we're just going to draw a little curve line, little curve line, and in the center uh, curve line to the left, curve line to the right. Come over here on the right hand side we're going to draw a curve line up, little curve line connect on the right, curve line up, little curve line connect on the left. Okay, now we're just going to go wavy, wavy line, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Same thing on the left, wavy line, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Okay, now I'm just going to go one, two on the left, one, two slightly curved lines on the right. Come back over to the top and we're going to mimic this line. Wavy line, wavy line, keep going, wavy, wavy line, keep going, wavy, wavy line. Okay, now on the left this is my 
tiger, swallow, tail, butterfly, and on the right over here is my tiger. Okay? The Venn diagram is starting right here at the top of my butterfly's head. I'm going to draw a big circle or curve line out, over, and connect. And now on my tiger, I'm going to intersect that circle with this circle and connect. This intersection part is going to be the things that both of these have in common. And this section is going to be all of the things that they don't have in common. So starting on the left with my tiger swallowtail butterfly, this is an insect, but my tiger is a mammal. So that's not going to be something they have in common. But both of them have stripes, so I'm going to write stripes. If I can put it in, fit it in, stripes. Okay. Next my butterfly flies but my mammal my tiger he walks so that's not something they have in common but they both have tails okay this is the swallow tails right here and I don't have the tiger but back over here he has a tail so they have that in common my butterfly has six legs and my tiger has four legs so that's not something that they share together but they both have the same colors which I'll show you when we start coloring um, my butterfly is a nectar eater that's the sweet goo from uh, flowers but my tiger is a meat eater so they don't have that in common at all but they both kind of have the same name, so I'm going to put name in here. So if it doesn't have anything to do with the other, each other, that's the compare and contrast. But the part right in here is what they do have in common. And that is what we call a Venn diagram, where the two things intersect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in so you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about. Okay, I've drawn my circles a couple of times and they still look a little wacky, so don't be surprised if yours look the same. Anyways, on my butterfly, this is going to be black. The stripes are going to be black. The center is black. The top part of the wing is black. It's very stripy. This section is black because it's symmetrical. It's all got to be symmetrical. And if you can color around your little flat ovals, these should all be black. Okay, these are all the stripes. Then, symmetrical, so whatever you do on the left, you got to do on the right. Then, come in with your yellow and color in your little flat ovals. These should all be yellow. And the main body space of your butterfly should also be yellow okay so you've got your stripes and you've got your color okay now on the tiger first thing you might want to do is just put some eyeballs so you can see get a little pink and do his nose okay now He's triple colored, but the main thing is I always put a little bit of yellow, which goes back to the butterfly, them sharing the same color. So you can go ahead and put a little bit of yellow all over him. You don't have to really do your stripes because we kind of already drew those. You might want to give his eyeballs a little bit of yellow also. Then I came in and just did a little bit of orange right next to his stripes okay and then I colored over everything lightly with my brown not too dark lightly with my brown but you can see the similarities 
between the butterflies, colorings, and the tigers. Okay? Alright. I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Venn diagram all colored in. As you can see, I have some goofy circles, but you get the idea that these are the things they have in common. We can do these with other animals, birds, monkeys, all kinds of things. Compare and contrast. Okay, bye-bye.